what she has to teach us about. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, first of all, I'm super, super excited. This when I pulled up, I'm like, yay, lots of kids. I work so much better with kids when it when it comes down to talking about health and fitness within their life. When you get into the teenager, well, some of them are teenagers, but when you get with the older kids, they're like, um, I don't know if I want to give that up. Or I don't know if I want to. But kids, really, 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 y'all are at a wonderful, wonderful age because y'all have so much energy already. So it's not going to be hard to share with some of the things that y'all are going to need to do. But I, um, when I'm thinking, like, what would I say, you know, how would I present to you all tonight? Um, a lot of things went through my mind. But I want to I wanna say something before I get started about Brianna Short. Because we're doing on October the 20th, at the Lake Butler Middle School, it's gonna be a Think Pink night. We usually do it every year for Kathy Sams. She raises funds. And we do a Zumba night, and um, we go and we just, everybody comes in pink, and they dress up, and they exercise for like an hour and But it's like a $5 donation fee. So what, we take that fund, that money, and she puts it toward a run for breast cancer. Well, what's so awesome is this year, that we're including Brianna Short in that night. So half of the funds is going to go toward Brianna and her family. So y'all, if you want to come out and participate, it'll be a fun night, fun, fun night. It'll be yellow and pink for Brianna and Kathy Sams that night. So it's going to be for Brianna. So October the 20th, and I have on my Facebook page as well. We have we have um, tickets. If y'all want to purchase tickets early, you can come up to Zumba and get them. They're $5 because Last year we did experience the door can get kind of crowded, but if you got your ticket, you just turn in your ticket and keep going. But you have to stop and pay. That's where it kind of bundles, bundles up. But we had a great turnout last year. We're expecting a double because of the support from Brianna. So and another thing y'all might want to pay attention to because all of these little gimmicks. So here you'll see Team Flabbiness. That's our brand. It really is. And I'll talk about that just a little bit. I'm not going to be before you long because you're full and you're ready to go in school night and all that great stuff. But all these little things. This is free stuff if you can answer questions on something I talked about. So y'all got to pay attention. So even if you can't wear it, you can share it. Um, the, the wrist things, the little dance things. Um, this is information about what we do here in our county. Okay, so again, I am Demetrius, as she said. So you're like, oh, what does she really, 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 really have to talk about? Okay, so I'm going to bring it down on your level. Okay, so I was like your age at one time, and then I grew up, and grew up, and grew up. And then I played softball for the high school. Who in here? Who, who plays sports in here? Oh, yeah, I can tell. Sports, sports, sports. Sports is them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sports. So love sports all through school. Love playing softball. Just as athletic as I want to be. I could eat all the pizza I wanted and never worry about anything. I could eat, drink everything, drink all my Cokes and everything, and I could still go and play, play, play. Because when you're small, your body has all of this energy and all your metabolism is like way up here, right? So no matter what you do, you never ever see the effects of, of not eating healthy. So what happened was I got to high school and I could still just eat all I want to eat, 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 eat. And I never, ever, 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 ever worried about eating, never got sick. I never had to worry about, you know, putting a little bit away because I was young and athletic and it's called metabolism, it's part of everything. So I have to talk with y'all, so adults, y'all can bear with me because I got to talk where they can understand. So what happened was I go to college and I'm, I'm playing softball. I'm playing softball for college. I'm into my third, fourth year playing for softball. So college is over. So when college is over and I start having family and I don't keep moving with all this energy, all the, like all this energy I have, right? So then that's when things begin to change for me, like change, change. So I just did a presentation like three weeks ago, and I lost the top of my picture. So when I say change, things begin to really change for me. This is me. See that? Whoa, y'all can take whatever you want. So this is me. This is me. This is this is the change. Look at his mother. Yeah. This is the change. This is the change. This is the change. Y'all see this? Does that look like me? No, 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 no. Well, so that's what this this when I say team flavors, this is what it's all about. Because what you're getting tonight, this little bit of nugget, I won't be before you long because it doesn't take much when you're, when you're this age. So what happens is when I get out of college and I begin to slow down, 
you slow down, your metabolism slows down, and I'm not as active, I don't know what to eat and how to eat, and things begin to expand a little bit, and then a little bit more, then a little bit more. So what happens is as your body expands, then you put yourself at high risk. You're high risk for things that can really cause you major harm in your life. So I was, that picture, I was 36, and I knew that, I, and I wasn't really sick, like I wasn't ill, I wasn't, I wasn't. But I knew that I was a high-risk person. High-risk means I could maybe have, like, what do you think high-risk, like, what, like what's some of the illnesses that you can think of? What, what, what can make you sick? Yeah. High blood pressure. Oh, high blood pressure. Tell me something else. Anybody else know something that, that can make you sick? What? Catching something Germany. Yeah, Germany, that's true. That's true. But tell them with weight. Like, if you gain weight, what can make you sick? You said high blood pressure. Y'all ever heard of diabetes? Yes, stroke, yeah, heart attack. So these are the things that I was at risk for. I didn't have any major illnesses, but I was at risk. What? Overweight. So that's it, overweight. So diabetes being overweight, that's exactly what it was. It leads you to all these other things. So this is why it's important that you learn now the value of it. So who in here, your mama or daddy might be like, come on, we need to walk this track. If your wrist is <laughs> come on. You need to exercise. You know, you got you went like this. Ah! So this is what I'm saying. So I mean, you're that's that's great because what they're trying to do is teach you early now. And I'm telling you, just because you're an athlete, remember I was an athlete, but I didn't have that discipline way down to just continue to do what I needed to do. So the moment that my athletic things were over, that's when. Uh, 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 uh. So my thing is, you have to learn, and I'm doing it, I have to do it on your level. You have to learn the power of discipline yourself. So this is what I want to share with you about childhood obesity. Okay? You, all y'all are great. And, and another thing, y'all are like not really in control. Like you can't help like what you eat right now because your mom and dad fix your food, right? You just what? <laughs> Uh, he said, I just eat it. That's right. So when mom and daddy prepares your food, you're eating what you, what, what, you know, what's prepared for you. But you can make the smaller, smaller choices. This is what this is about tonight. So I have this tonight because this is, I'm going to show you the simple ways that you can do to make little changes and little things that you can share when your friends are over, when you're having your sleepovers. You can make little changes like I know that you're not going to make major changes in your household, but you can also discuss, go home and discuss this with your parents. Talk about health and talk about fitness, because let me tell you about our county. Our county was 67 out of 67. What county did we live in? Union. 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 Union was at the bottom in the whole state of Florida for being the most unhealthiest county in the state of Florida. That means we were the worst when it came to being fit or healthy. We were the worst. Well, the last two years, we've moved up two numbers. So we've moved up two numbers in the last two years. So being that we were the most un unhealthiest, so I, I kind of jump all over the place, but we're the most unhealthiest. I, six years ago, looked at myself in that picture and said, man, I am, this is not good. I am a ticking time bomb. That's what my doctor said. Ticking time bomb means if I don't change something, I'm really going to get sick. I'm not sick right now, but if I don't change something, right? So then I began to change some things, and I had a lot of my friends that I worked with at the time at the middle school. We would get together, we would try different things. We'd start walking groups, we'd walk the trail, and things like that. And I, I could feel where people really wanted to, adults really wanted to, like, take care of themselves. So that's where this came about. When you see this, team flags, a lot of y'all may not see, but your parents know about it. Because I'm all over the place. We're, I mean, we really, really are. Your parents know about this. And this, this right here, Team Flabulous, is, is this Flabulous? It's kind of cute, you know. It, it shouldn't be fitness, but it's Flabulous. And it's where we're taking our lives back through Zumba. I'm a Zumba instructor. So I teach Zumba. You know what Zumba is? Who all was in the elementary school last year? Did y'all did y'all come to the class where I was in? You did. Okay, there you go. Now I'm feeling a lot more comfortable. And I was in there, we did Zumba as like, an, it was career day or something. And I was encouraging you then to have fun. And the reason that Zumba is so popular is because we have so much fun with it. So Zumba is our number one fitness movement. So you can take headphones and put it in your house. And most of y'all do it already. 
I even danced to, what's that song? No, something, Megan Turner and whoever else. Megan, what's her name? Trainer. Trainer? Absolutely. I don't know, but I just listened to them and learned dances to them. So it's the same thing when you're at home and you're with your friends. You've got to find fun things to do. I'm sorry, what did you say, babe? I know, right? That's a late bubble boy right there. So uh, that's all right. That's all. So uh, th that's, where, that's where this came from. So when you see Team Blackness, that's where it came from. We decided to take our lives back and as adults, but you all are kids. I want you all to learn the power of keeping your life. Like where you're at now, you're, you're, you're feeling good, you're feeling great, you're young with all this energy. Keeping your life and learn the importance of making little changes. I don't believe in drastic. You're not going to go and eat all carrots and celery all day. Like we've been going for the last three days. Oh, no. But I don't expect y'all to be able to do that. But make simple changes. Like this is what we're getting ready to do with this. This, 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 I'm going to show you a simple, simple little healthy snack that you can just have really quick. And these are things that you can go and they have kid recipes on, um, you can, where? Zumba. Zumba on Google. <laughs> Google it. But we do, we have kid, we have kid days. We have, and we have a lot of kids that come to the Zumba classes as well. We're trying to this one out. So that's where this, that, this is why I'm here to encourage you to just really, 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 have a conversation with your family. It is A-OK -okay to talk about your health and fitness. Because with that, this is why I want to say it's OK to talk about health and fitness because y'all are blind as a bat. So we're going to talk about one. I'm going to give y'all three things, three and then three. We're going three and three. Who's in here between 6 and 11 years old? Oh, yeah, this is a group. Who's in here between 12 and 19 years old? So I got both of y'all. So six and 11 years old, we live in the United States, right? Lake Butler, that's the United States. Do y'all live in social studies class? Just a little bit. Do y'all know that 7%, seven, 7%, seven I'm, I'm trying to get y'all, y'all to understand. The number seven is lower than the number 18, right? Mm -hmm. So about 10 years ago, babies your age, six to 11, they were, when you're talking about childhood obesity, meaning childhood weight being down. Do that again. <laughs> He's crazy. He's really an athlete. He's funny. Yeah, yeah, that's good. There's nothing wrong. That's a great personality. So 7% 10 years ago, that's what we had childhood obesity between the age of 6 to 11. Well, guess what? It was four years ago. It's up 18%. So 7 to 18%. So 7% to 18%. Childhood being your age group, you moved up the scale. So then your age group, 12 to 19, y'all went from 5%, oh my goodness, to 21%. That don't surprise me. It doesn't, right? Okay? So you know where that comes from? And some at your age group, it's really like, I don't want to put it all on you all, but it says we eat too much and we don't exercise as much. We have a lot of what going on? Mm -hmm. Video games. Say it again, girl, loud. Video games. A lot of video games going on and a lot of what? Typing. And that's what? Compute typing and what? Computer. Computer. Oh, give me some. Computer. A lot of that. So we're eating more. And uh, we're, we're a lot more smarter, but we're not moving. Even they taught us, we just had a seminar on our jobs, that if you sit down for two hours straight, and even though you work out that morning, I'm sorry, three hours straight, if you worked out that morning and you sit for three hours straight, you might as well not have worked out because your body goes into fat storing mode. Just from sitting at your desk. Just from sitting. They tell us to get up every hour and you just walk in place. You can't do it at your school, but I'm telling you, they tell us as adults. So we're struggling just as much. So that's a high number. So, yes, yes. So when you're when, when this obesity rate is going up, this is when things are, did you know kids are being diagnosed? I'm sorry. Kids are being diagnosed, y'all, seriously, pre-diabetics. Pre-diabetics, and they are at a higher risk of developing diabetes. Kids, by the time they're 9 and 10 years old in America, they're taking insulin. Insulin means they're taking medicine to help them balance out what they call their blood sugar levels because their kidneys won't function right if they don't balance it out. So this is why it's okay to go and have the conversation because this is what's happening in your world, in your age group. I didn't get us. 
Your age group is what you're eating. A lot of sugars, a lot of sugars, a lot of soda pops and things like that. And I'm telling you, tonight is fine. So we're not talking about tonight. I'm talking about the family that when we eat like this every night. Every night. And it's not based on like size. It's not based on like who's the smallest or who's the biggest. Because you got the people that are bigger than myself that are a little bit more healthier to stay up here to be their genetic makeup. So it's really about what we're all eating. So let me tell you three of the benefits of exercising, and then we are really done with asking any questions you want to. That's how quick it is. That's why I love the kids. Y'all yeah, give me great answers. So one of the benefits of exercising, you gotta remember this because I'm gonna ask some questions and you get the problem. And then we're gonna do this a little. You gotta tell me what happens when you exercise. Oh, I love it. Okay, so you were your your first you lose weight. Lose weight, yep, yep, yeah. Oh, we should you don't see that picture? I got that from um, exercise, running, Zumba, and I do a little bit of cross training. Running, Zumba, and cross training. That's where I get that. That's what happened to me. Um, after I had a surgery, and then I got the stand still, and then I began to run, and I began to do Zumba, and I began to do cross training, and I, I made my life took a whole turn. And it's been going ever since, and that's where this movement is. And we offer all of our classes free, so people can get the same benefits, and that's the number one benefit, weight control. That is the number one benefit. Yes? Burn calories. Burn calories, which equals weight control. Yes, sir. You're burning more calories than you eat. Ooh, you're smart. You're Your heart pumps faster, which means your blood is going faster. That's good. Your heart is going to pump better. You're going to push all that push stuff through your body, and you're going to burn calories. It's going to help you with ABC. And you like the stronger? Stronger. Stronger bones. That is so true. So many people grow up, and they get, um, it's called joint pain. That's what I suffer with. I had no major illness, but I had joint pain. So your bones get stronger, and it's a thing called, I can never pronounce it, osteoporosis. There you go. Really? You ever heard of the lady that fell and broke her hip? No, her hip breaks before she falls, because she's older and there's no bone strength. So you don't only get muscle strength, you get bone strength, especially if you don't. Anybody else want to tell me what happens when you exercise before I give you three more? What, baby? How do you feel when you exercise? What happens? You're oh, breathing. Yes, you breathe better, which is your oxygen. Yes, 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 you breathe, which is connected to energy, actually. You feel better when you breathe. Yes. Do you get healthy? Healthy, that's what it's that's the overall part of it. Overall. Y'all are smart, man. Whoa. Do you get lots of water? Oh, <laughs> that water. Oh, I can I can talk about water all day long. Exercising does make you drink more water because you're burning that water out and you need more to put in your body to clean things. Like that, that's a double talk. But yes, yes, it cleans out your insides and it makes you feel better. Water gives you energy. You gotta have water, water, water. And you can take water and replace it sometimes. Not all the time. I mean, we took water, we take it and we make a drink like it's like a treat in our house, so to speak. They can have water most of the time, but they have their drink some of the time. We give them that. We don't take it all out, but we really do try to implement more water than anything. Hold on, let me get somebody over here. You keep that bottle. Girl, let me tell you, you know what she just said. She said, you're tired after you exercise. So when you're tired, what do you do when you're tired? Sleep. sleep. It is. It, it promotes the best sleep. You just, y'all don't have to worry about that as kids, but as adults, we want a good night's rest. I'm not kidding you. And I was like going through this period where like I'm so agitated, like well, I'm not getting no sleep. And I realized I hadn't ran in like three weeks. See, Zumba is good for me, it's high intensity, but running, running knocks me out. I don't care if I run three to five miles, but it puts me in a sleep like never before. So, I mean, I, it really does. She's like, what? <laughs> Girl, I got a 13 mile Saturday, I'm on set, it's gonna cancel it, I think, because it's storm. See, running, it's my, it, that is my new addiction. <laughs> Newest grace, it really, really is. Yes, sir. It makes you hungry. Hungry, hungry, okay, so that's true, that's true. I teach people. He said, when you exercise, it makes you hungry because it's burning up your metabolism, which makes you lose weight. But what happens is if you don't know what proper foods to put in your body, you'll put the wrong thing in your body, and then your workout will be like useless. So huh? exercising makes you very hungry, but you gotta know what to eat so you can balance it out. What are you gonna say? I was like, it'll be bad if I burn You can teach this class, man. He said you burn 300 calories and ate a double cheeseburger and a milkshake. 
You, you might as well not. I'm serious. I mean, it's good for your, your, your bones to feel good, but actually to burn the calories to get the weight loss, you won't get it. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. And, and when you, you need to drink more water because when you exercise, you sweat, and that's taking water out of your body. And it's called dehydration, baby girl. You got it. Woo. Yes, I love it. That's that word, dehydration. Right answer. So, did y'all learn something tonight? That's short, sweet, and quick. Y'all, did, did, does anybody have any questions? Now y'all see why I love what I do. I tell people whenever, I, every now and then, I have to post this, a picture of me, of my old self. Because people are like, oh my gosh, you get my nurse, she talks about this weight loss stuff. But see, for me, y'all don't have to worry about that. But as adults, this is why people go to CrossFit at 5 o'clock in the morning. Five. They say, oh my gosh, that's crazy. No, it's not. We're extending our life. It's quality. We want to live a quality life. We don't want to be at high risk. We want to be healthier. And no, you may, that you, as an adult, we may not go at 5 o'clock, but we can walk at 6 o'clock in the afternoon, one or two miles. You start off small. Do y'all do the morning mile, morning mile at elementary school? You don't need to as much. Y'all do? Get involved. Get fit. Start exercising. Start moving. I'm telling you, you're going to feel better. You're gonna, get your parents. Go home and get your parents involved. Tell them. Y'all go home and have the conversation. Y'all remember this. It's the conversation. It's okay if you have the conversation about being healthy and growing up and being healthy and learning the importance of exercising and being fit. Okay? So that's what I mean. So you have the recipe in front of you, and I scratched out some of the stuff I didn't put in. Now, I'm not a measure, but you can measure when you come out the way it says. But this is a trail mix, y'all. It is so good. All you have to do is go home. And when you have your sleepover, this is the stuff you want to eat. It's good energy food. It gives you energy. 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 And y'all, I just started eating cold oatmeal. Y'all know what that is? You can buy it now. I just started it. Where you sit it overnight or something, kibosh or somebody was selling it, and you put like milk or you put soy milk in it, and you put it in the refrigerator and it has fruit in it and all these nuts and you eat it in the morning for like a parfait type thing but it's raw oatmeal. I just start, bless you. So, stay it in, that's it. And you can put them in the microwave if you don't like that. Right, cold. And what happened to me? One day I had to do it. So as you can see, this, this is going to give you a sweet and sour mix. Kids, but it's a healthy sweet salad. This is, and you take this, and all you do is, you can take this as a treat, and you can nibble on it, or you can take it when you watch a movie. This, look at this, this is so good. It's just homemade trail mix. And it's going to be sweet, and it's going to have no salt to it. Look at that. Oh, mamas, I'm telling you, it's the best. It's the best thing for your kids. It's going to have that cinnamon. You can eat it. It's have a cinnamon taste to it. And it's going to have a sweet, the dark chocolate in it. It's going to be amazing. So y'all all a little bit. And um, I just added this. They did not ask for the granola or this. But you can make like a little parfait. All you do is just take your cups, put a couple spoons of um, yogurt in it. We do Greek. You don't have to do great if you're not into clean, clean eating. But um, that's how quick that was just made. If you're having a sleepover, that's what this is all about. You want me to help you cut it? Yeah, you can. That would be great. So, um, ooh, if I want to have you eat in this top right. All right, who wants to try? Yogurt? No yogurt. Yogurt. Yes. Um, so, so, will you give me, I think I only got plastic for it. So, just remember, it's just that simple. Like, it's just this simple. And when you get, like if you got your friends over, all you have to do is figure out what they like and add and take away. This is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a cleaner treat. This is a cleaner treat. It's got the chocolate in it. It's got the um, sweet taste. It's got the peanuts in it. So y'all try this and then I'm going to ask y'all a few questions so y'all can win some of this Zumba stuff. Y'all, y'all can take some of this and see what we're doing. We're doing a daily plan right now. And I'm going to help you class. Or you can scan your phone. Go straight to your phone. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's it. Here's some of this. I want to get
I'm happier. I direct yourself. Okay. Right. 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 So, I was going to hit her. Oh, you were going to hit her. And that makes sense because I just asked her, like, do you want to be a Zumba queen? Would you like to be a leader? Because no, I can't say, I can't express it. The energy and the happiness is unreal. One, it rubs off on people. Two, you will leave. You'll have it all the time. People ask me all the time, why are you laughing? Why are you grinning? You're just all over the place. I'm not putting you 50 jumping jacks. Get right now. And we can probably do 50 more. It's just a natural high that you get, and you're always happy, happy. Y'all are in a good place. We're talking to the adults. You just don't know what you're missing. Yes, sir. That's why you see runners, people that are acting runners, when they get stopped on a stoplight while they stay running in place, it's because they want to keep the endorphins released. Yes, and it is. She said it, it's something in your body. Zumba, um, uh, CrossFit, it's just something in your body that naturally makes you happy. Literally, like smiling, happy all the time. I was at the beach one day and I was out there running and people were running and walking and I mean everybody was like, hi, 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 hi. And I had a live, I was like, do y'all see this? This is not, this is at the break of dawn from old people on down. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everywhere, all down the beach. And that's because that's what it does to you. Happy, happy, happy. Okay, what? I was saying like every time I used to come back from baseball, practice I go like do 50 push-ups and about this today I have you can't help it. It's just in you. It is. And that becomes a wonderful, wonderful. Man, you're going to teach this one. I'm excited. I'm going to get your autograph. You done the same thing? It just makes you want to keep going. That's beautiful. Okay. So can someone tell me, uh, so we got all the benefits of exercising. Can someone tell me, um, without looking up here, if you don't have anything, what was one of the things that was in your healthy snack? If you don't have something, what don't, what? Yeah, I have what was one? Raisins. Oh, raisins, which is a healthy snack. Come get you. You can eat, eat healthier. That's part of being healthy. Right here. Right here. Pick you up something right here. No. Those are those are magnets. Mm -hmm. Now who doesn't have any? Okay. Okay. All right. So would y'all like to tell me? Would y'all like to tell? Would y'all like to share with what do y'all think a healthy food is? Something healthy. Yeah. Let me tell you, apple a day keeps the doctor away. We just talked about it, not kidding. Come get you some. Apple a day keeps your doctor away. It really is. I mean, we say that, but I have studies have shown it. I have some women. I just encourage me. I eat apple every night. I don't care what I'm doing. I need it every night. Okay, so you have something? Okay, hold on. Oh, you have to get Let me see. So, now tell me a healthy, a healthy food. Oh, blueberries, which is full of antioxidants. I need mean, eat more blueberries. Yes, blueberries. Get you something from home. Anybody else need something? If you need something, y'all got to get it. Everybody got something, right? Carly. 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 No, car yeah. yeah. Tell me something. Share with it, everybody something that is a healthy food. Strawberries. Oh, strawberries. Actually, that is a wonderful low carb food. Yes, it is. So come pick you something. Everybody got something? Jaycee. Jaycee, can what you please? Jaycee, what is a healthy food like? Something that maybe like some type of fruit or vegetable that's healthy. Say it loud. Yeah. Oh, bananas is full of potassium and runs so bananas. Yes, they draw me bananas. Come on, girl. Come get me some. Hey, when I tell you y'all were the best, 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 I wanted to bring some music and dance. We're done. You can either have the sweat towel, you can have this bracelet, or you can have this sweet laugh. Give to somebody. Yeah. Okay, good. So tomorrow, when you have on your 4 H shirt, right, make sure you tell them who was your guest and what y'all talked about. So not only invite them to 4 H, tell them y'all have the talk about being healthy as kids and staying healthy, okay? Y'all were the most amazing group of kids. Thank y'all for listening and participating. Y'all always make it so much easier for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Keith.